Hello my friends, Amy Esther here, and today is my week 14 pregnancy update. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, all of my pregnancy updates are linked in the description below so you can watch the whole playlist from when I found out I was pregnant until today and beyond. If you're watching this in the future, then I will have several other pregnancy updates every Friday until we have this baby. There will be a pregnancy update for you on my channel. So I hope that you are enjoying these. If you are, give it a thumbs up. First thing we need to talk about, I am so out of breath. I feel like I can't even talk very long without totally being out of breath. This symptom totally went away. I had it at the beginning of my pregnancy and then it got better and now it's back with full force, like out of breath. And I think now it's because my belly's growing and I think that's more why I'm out of breath rather than just being tired all the time. Even though I'm still kind of tired all the time, but nothing like I was the first trimester of pregnancy. Whew, that was rough. Anyway, other things happening this week. I have a few new symptoms. The shortness of breath would be one of them. And then also the heartburn has begun. Oh, it's been not fun, especially in the middle of the night when I wake up and I'm laying down and I have such bad heartburn. It's so miserable. Not loving that. I do feel like my energy level has kind of gone down a little bit this week and that could totally be my normal stuff. So if you don't know me, I have several chronic illnesses on top of being pregnant and I have chronic fatigue and I do think my pregnancy fatigue has gotten better, but I don't know. This week I've just been fatigued again. Um, not nearly as bad as my first trimester of pregnancy those first few weeks, but I'm still pretty fatigued and sorry, my cat and my dog, you guys, in the background of all my videos, I don't know what to do. I'm just a mess over here and so sorry. I know sometimes I do my pretty sit down videos with my cute background and my better camera, but <laughs> some days like today, we're just going to make it by and do it with my animals in the background with my hair not done and all of those things. So sorry about that, but that's just my life right now. And <laughs> I have been super sleepy still. That's been most of my pregnancy, but I think that's getting worse. Like I'm just so tired. I wanna fall asleep at eight o'clock and I wanna sleep in every day till eight o'clock in the morning. But besides that, I do feel like my nausea has gotten better. It's still there here and there, but I also have some stomach issues as is. So again, it's hard to know what's from pregnancy or what's my normal stuff. Um, but I do think I still have a little bit of pregnancy nausea here and there that comes up. I don't feel like I have a lot of really strong aversions, but I have been having a lot of strong cravings this week, mostly for potatoes. I have just been craving potatoes so much. Like I want to eat them for every meal, fries, um, baked potatoes, just like any form of potato sounds amazing to me. Hash browns, cheesy potatoes. Okay. Anything with cheese and potatoes. Mm, yes. Cheese is another one. Just like anything cheesy, which is so funny because I didn't eat dairy for so long. And now like, I just cannot get enough dairy. <laughs> I just want cheese all the time. Um, another thing that I've been craving is like fruity things and sour things, especially if they're like fruity and sour. So I've been like sipping on um, like strawberry limeade throughout the day. And if I do a whole glass at one time, my stomach just hates me. <laughs> and so I'll just do like a little sip all throughout the day, just to, like curb that craving. But anything just like sour and sweet, just sounds so good all the time. So those have been my big cravings this week. I'm in that smooth sailing phase of pregnancy where things are just going relatively well. I'm not hugely giant yet, but my belly is definitely growing, definitely growing way faster than my last pregnancy with my daughter. Oh my gosh, it's growing so fast. I feel like I already look like I'm like halfway through my pregnancy, but I'm still not to that point where you know, it's like hard to do things because my belly's so big and I'm through the first trimester where I have all the awful symptoms. So I feel like I'm really in the happiest part of pregnancy. And let's be honest, like pregnancy is so amazing and so hard and <laughs> so horrible at the same time. Like I feel all those emotions all the time where I'm just like so happy and joyful and excited to be pregnant. And then part of me is like, 
a little bit miserable because I just feel crappy all the time. <laughs> but even that being said, I'm definitely in the easiest part of pregnancy and that's something I have to keep reminding myself is that it's the easiest road right now. And again, animals in the background making lots of noise, but that's my life here. So I just weighed myself, I'm 129 pounds. So that weight gain is definitely starting to escalate and come on much faster. This week we um, backsplashed our kitchen, which looks amazing by the way. I had so much fun. Me and my husband did it. It was a fun little project. Totally killed me because chronic illnesses and pregnant. We were totally out the next day, especially me. Like I could not get out of bed. I was so tired and like from leaning over my neck, awful migraine didn't feel good after but it was totally worth it because it looks amazing anyway we did that this weekend and so we couldn't really use our kitchen because we had like toxic stuff everywhere and usually we go grocery shopping on friday um and this week we didn't go till wednesday so we had like seriously no food because one i couldn't really cook anything and then i hadn't gone grocery shopping and i got so sick of eating out like the beginning of my pregnancy like I just always wanted to eat out nothing sounded good if I made it by myself um, but now like all I want is good home-cooked healthy meals so that's really exciting and I'm trying to just lean into that as much as possible I don't know if it's just because we had to eat out so much this weekend that it just got me sick of it or because I'm like actually craving healthy good foods <laughs> but last night I was craving zucchini so I left work at nine o'clock and I went and got myself some zucchini, <laughs> even though I didn't even have time to make it or anything. I just made time because I thought if I'm craving something healthy, I am eating it. And then today I went grocery shopping and I loaded up on tons of veggies again, which is typically what I eat in my normal life when I'm not pregnant. Um, but being pregnant again that first trimester, you're just coasting by, eating whatever you can manage to eat. And so I just feel so grateful that now I'm craving healthier things. I just want home cooked meals and which makes me want to make them because they just sound so amazing when before it just nothing really sounded good except cheap crappy food. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this next phase of pregnancy. It's going to be a really good one. If you are pregnant, especially if you're 15 weeks pregnant, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your pregnancy story. What are your symptoms this week? What are you craving? Do you still have the first trimester symptoms? Mine go away pretty much right after that first trimester, but I know some people it keeps going. So I feel so blessed in that way, but let me know how you are feeling this week. If you're enjoying these pregnancy updates, give me a thumbs up so that I know to keep doing them and I will see you next Friday.